X is slowly dying. As of 2025, the BSK app is now gaining more attraction and more new users daily, which are not only registering there, but also starting to use, actively post, and even some people I see are more active in BSK than in the X they are. So due to some political things or something else, they are ditching the X platform and moving to bsk.app. Also, the BSK now has a lot of brands and the brands are opening their accounts and communicating with their followers. So this is a great platform. It's simple. And as I see why people are maybe jumping from X to BSK, because X is now full of bots. I assume BSK will also have the same issue. But at the same time, uh, the X is like a platform on steroids. Uh, they have so many integrations with AIs and so many disinformation. I guess any platform has disinformation nowadays, but anyhow, it has too much and people are jumping over as I think they find it simpler to use as the bsk.app was created, co-founded from the same person who previously created and sold to Elon Musk their Twitter. Twitter was a great platform and BSK is the same. It's now made simple, no uh, strange functions, etc. But uh, in this video, uh, we are going to create a Python script, uh, which will help us automate our BSK activity by posting like messages using the AI. Why it's needed? It's needed because some people are busy and we don't want to lose the followers, uh, follower interest, etc. And maybe some business or brands wants to use this script that it's free, free to use. Uh, I have created it and published it in my GitHub account. So if you want to use it, you can use it for free, but please use it wisely. Don't abuse any rules, etc. I have previously created a video, it's linked here, in which you can see how to automate the X messages. Uh, using the uh, make.com. But in this video, we'll be focusing on ChatGPT. All the commands will be listed in my Medium page, which link you will find down in the description, or also you can go to blog.walters.eu, which will open the Medium, and there you can find the, top, the post from where you can take the commands, descriptions, and all the information as well. The first thing we need to use to use the Python script is a VPS. You can use it on your local machine, on any, like, your laptop, uh, your home lab, your internal servers, depends when you want. But I want it to work 24-7, so I will be using a VPS. And uh, in this case, I will be using zone.eu VPS server, which they have provided me for these kinds of experiments and to create great educational content for you to learn and to show you great things. Uh, Zone.eu is an Estonian hosting company which provides, at the moment, the best service, at least as I have uh, tested them and used them, didn't have any issues for more than one year, everything worked smoothly, perfectly, no headaches, no brain injuries, no price increases. At the moment, I think they are the best and they offer the best service for the best price, including the security, as they always keep their servers up to date. And they actually have a real human being in 24-7 technical support, which is not a chat chatbot or AI assistant. And it is pretty great if you need some assistance for or have some questions, related technical questions, that there is a person who will actually read the question or speak with you on the phone and explain to you or help you assist you. So I definitely recommend to check them out. The link is also down in the description and also should pop up here, the link. And we are going to use zone to you for this experiment. And the price is good and the servers will work 24 seven. And if you are keeping active social media network, then you need 24 seven actual working servers. As you log in into zone.eu panel, you can see your services, uh, cloud server. You can manage your cloud server, reinstall it, uh, use a web, web SSH to connect to it if you don't have terminal or don't have access or you are on the road and you need to access in your server something. So once we have our VPS ready, order it ready, or you have installed your own machine, etc., you need to log into your VPS. Uh, 
Technically, I'm using Terminal, which is built in macOS uh, already solution to log in into remote servers, etc. Uh, for Windows 11, you can use already uh, CMD because CMD supports the same functionality now. Plus, you can use also, if you're using Linux, then the same already Terminal. But you already know that, I guess. So let's log in SSH. Uh, you need to log in Ubuntu at your VPS because many VPS providers create your user default Ubuntu. Some of them are creating root. In zone.eu case, it's Ubuntu. Since I already, already have mine pre-installed, uh, pre-configured, so that I use just SSH uh, the zone and type my secure key. So once we are in our VPS, we can do sudo su to become a root user. But now, once we are in, uh, we need to install some software so that our application can work properly. Uh, firstly, let's do, let's do apt get update to update the repository to latest. But if you have ordered zone.eu server, then you can see it's already with the latest coming pre installed And now let's install Python and pip and env so that we can run our python script. The installation should be pretty fast because zone.eu has a great network and um, therefore it should be fast and as you can see it's already finished without hesitating. And additional thing so that we can clone the script from the github we need apt get install git. Oh. It's already installed, so once we have everything installed, we can go into the GitHub. As you can see, there's only one one currently script, bskey.pi. This is version first, which I have uh, right now published. Uh, the readme and the license will be added once this video goes out. So let's copy the link. This link will also be in my Medium page if you want to download uh, without going to there. And now, which, let's create a folder. SRV social media. media and let's go to our folder and let's do git clone this. Well, as it shows, it's finished. Let's go into social media automation. And as we can see, here are all the files that was in the GitHub. Now we need to actually access our two things, OpenAI and create their account. But in the OpenAI, you will need to fund your account with 10, 10 euros or 10 USD dollars, depending where you are, because the OpenAI for using the API requires payment. Uh, with this payment, uh, with my usage, actually, uh, post each two hours, I have lasted around six months on the previously on the X platform and on the BSK, I think it will be the same amount. If uh, OpenAI will not include the price, will not increase the prices, but if they will do in the future versions, as I mentioned, there will be option to choose which of the AIs you want to use. So to get started, we need to go to the platform.openai.com. Also, everything will be down in my Medium page written, so you can search for that, or you just can go to the platform.openai. And now we need to log in. I will blur this out as I'm using my real email. The whole sensitive information is blurred out so that there are no visibilities. But as you can see, if you go to the pricing, you can see the prices of OpenAI's each module for the usage. To top up your account, you need to click on this gear icon and then you need to go to billing. As you can see, I have 9.99 as I haven't used a lot uh, since I did a top up recently and I did few automation tweets. But for now, I have paused the automation tweets as I wanted to create this video, but uh, you can automatically schedule to add the amount of money or manually. I personally choose manually to not get uh, any surprising unexpected amounts billed to me. And here, as you can see, my project is already BS key, but let's create a new project. I'll call it video BS key. The project is created, and then we can go and we can go to our API keys. As you can see, I already have one key, but let's create a new key. 
this will be for for bsk app demo there are no any there are none of restrictions that you need for rate so that your key is like ready it's straight away process create a secret key it generates the key copy it and save it to the safe place as we will need it to put it inside our script the next thing we need to do is uh, actually go to the bskey.app uh, if you don't have an account you need to create an account but if you already have account then you just need to sign in again everything's blurred out because of my personal data uh, the interesting interesting part is that your login credentials will be the ones that will be used in our script as bskey.app doesn't have like specific api or something like uh, with additional like tokens and stuff like that so if you have account then great if you don't then create one and now let's use nano nano is worldly wide text editor for linuxes and other systems i'm using it you can use your favorite like vim or what you like the best let's go into nano bsk app of course i'm not showing you my credentials but here in this you need to put in chat gpt api here you need to put in your bsk username in my case it is email and here is the bsk like uh, password once you have put it in you need to press ctrl x y tj and m ctrl m and you are back in your terminal once you have everything saved and finished you need to execute python3 bsk.pi and as you can see it's authenticating successful authentications and it has generated our first tweet not tweet but message let's take a look at our first message if we go to profile scroll down we can see 20 seconds ago there is the new message which uh, using the chat gpt the python script generated and published in the ps sky.app but what i want to show you is something interesting to not let me bring back the script uh, this is the script where in the github but you edited your chat gpt key username and password here are the topics that you can specify about what you want the script to generate the uh, the, the, the messages inside the bskey.app uh, for me it's cloud security devops practice uh, zero trust authentications you can actually use the topics that is more to your field basically you need to change them anyhow because i guess you will need for your own personalization and another thing is to use these hashtags uh, it automatically selects uh, the hashtags, the amount that it's allowed to use. So about the topics, how to get the topics that you actually need. Let me show you quickly. Let's go back to the chat GPT. I'm not logging in currently. You can do it without logging in or you can log in, but uh, can you please craft a let's say 10 topics you can use as many as you want because with this python script there is no limitations like you had in make.com because make.com has limitations but here you have zero limitations you can use gazillion topics that will be uh, each time that script runs it takes randomly out the topic that it will use it will not reuse the same topic each time so it has the random options about cyber security uh, in your case depending what you are doing use your keyword and as you can see here is the topics that actually the chat gpt is giving out that you can use or you can also ask it craft 10 most popular topics 
about DevSecOps, cyber security, and system administration for social media. For social media. And again, here is the topics that it's giving us out that we can use in our this one. If you like, for example, the human firewall, give me 50 popular hashtags for topic. And here ChatGPT will generate us the hashtags that we can use for the topic. Therefore, we have everything automated and the hashtags are also selected automatically. It will not repeat, it will use in various generation ways. Generating the script in various ways. I have predicted so that it doesn't repeat itself. As repeating itself, it can, well, scare away your audience. But if we do LSC, as you can see, we also have two files that are automatically created. Posted BS key JSON. I want to show you this. This is the tweets, the messages that it has published in the BS key application. Each time it publishes the message, it's automatically added to JSON file. But before it actually goes to ChatGPT to ask for these specific uh, messages, it checks the JSON file so that the same message isn't published again. So it doesn't go into the loop and publish the same message. So yeah, this is the script. This is simple, simply usable. Any person can use it, any company, any business. As I mentioned before, in the upcoming updates, I want to add the in Dockerized, I want to add the databases, and also I want to add multiple social media so that it's like fully automated, working 24 seven script that publishes in all the social medias at the same time or depending on the schedule, and also option to choose which AI you want to use. Therefore, you have more options and it's more flexible for your needs and for your business. Of course, uh, if we want to make it automatically, so that it's like uh, automatically working, let me do clear. If we want automatically for it to work, then we can also do like so. Uh, let's go to the Chrome tab. I will use Nano. If we, let's say, we want to automatically it to run each 30 minutes, then we can do like so. 30, uh, 1, 2, 3, Four. Dot B. Forgot to add Python three. Same we can do like so. Save it the same, and each thirty minutes it automatically will generate a message and publish it on the BS key platform. Uh, I suggest you to use this wisely. Don't overuse it. Don't, uh, how to say, don't use it for bad things as I wrote it for the good things for the people to use it for the good cause. So please uh, like, share, subscribe if you like this kind of video and if you don't want to miss the updates on this particular interesting stuff and authority stuff. So thank you for watching. I see you in next videos. Don't forget to check out the zone.eu as they're pretty great hosting and I'll guarantee you will not be disappointed by their service. So thank you and I see you in the next one. Bye.